I'm Rob Ford, Wintex Marketing and Communication Director, and I'm joined by Mike Piggott. Mike, thanks for being here and sharing your community story with us. Well, you're very welcome, Rob. It's my pleasure. So, Mike, tell us about yourself and what you do. Well, right now I'm a retired guy, uh, but I've spent a goodly number of years in this community and hopefully becoming a part of it. I came to Lafayette in 1968 uh, to be a student at Purdue. Didn't really think at the time I was going to be here forever and make a career out of this community, but I did. I uh, left Purdue University and, and uh, took a job as news director at WSK Radio. Uh, worked there for 13 years and uh, one day made a move over to the television station in West Lafayette and, and uh, became the news director there. The first full day I was in the TV newsroom, I was in charge of it. Uh, fortunately, there were some good people to help me along the way, and we uh, created really a first-class news operation covering this community. And then uh, around 2000, um, I made the move to Purdue University and uh, went back to my alma mater as the director of community relations and uh, spent 18 years uh, being Purdue's guy in town and, and uh, not only representing the university uh, to the community, but also representing the community to the university. And I think uh, we built some wonderful relationships over those times. And then about a year and a half ago, I decided I'm old enough to retire, and so I did. So looking back on your time at an, as a news anchor, what did you love the most? I think the real significant thing is that you didn't become a mover and shaker. But I was an eyewitness to everything that happened in this town for almost 30 years and, and, and close to it. And I got to know it pretty well. And, and I think we told that story pretty well. And it was just being that observer of our town and not just a, a, a guy who was reading wire copy, you know, the AP reports, but being a part of it. That, that meant so much and, and to be able to convey that uh, through our nightly reports on the television station, just I, I thought that was wonderful and it was a great experience to have. So how do you make the case for local news and why it's important for a community's overall health? Well, this is where we live. You know, I used to tell our people when I hire a young person into their first job and, and they might like to really live in Indianapolis and commute here and I say, no, 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 no. We have to tell the story about this community and you can do that by being a part of it. I want you to go into the grocery store and, and uh, somebody's going to say to you, uh, hey, I know you, I see you on television, did you know? And you might come up with a pretty good story. There aren't very many ways that people can find out those things that they want to know. And, and uh, by having a local media outlet to do that, uh, just I think makes it a better place to live. A lot of people might not know that one of your other responsibilities, in fact, still ongoing at Purdue, is to read names at graduation. <laughs> I uh, continued as Purdue's public orator. I believe I read Robert Ford's uh, name as he graduated. Uh, how many years ago was that? I've now been part of 127 Purdue ceremonies. Uh, announcing the names of the graduates as they come up across the stage. And ironically, um, I, I missed my own graduation. It came uh, when I got called out to go to basic training at Fort Leonard Wood and they sent my diploma there. But uh, I guess I've made up for it by doing quite a few more. Mike, you've been a part of this community for a long time, a very central part. What are you truly proud of when you think about the Lafayette and West Lafayette communities? How far we've come. I was on the committee, the marketing committee, that came up with the theme of, of uh, two great cities, one great university. And it's really significant and, and, and meaningful, and it's um, true. And I think maybe that's even the bigger part, but it's really a great place. We did a, a, a series of uh, promotions at the TV station called Lafayette's Great. You're at the heart of it, and 18's a part of it, and we wanted to be that. And uh, I think that's kind of where I'm trying to be throughout my whole career was to be a part of it and, and to reflect it and to communicate it. Mike, it's wonderful to see you and thank you for sharing your community story with us. Well, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell a story about a place I really love.